that there's going to be a lot of things in this video that you don't know about. Hey, Bella Buddies, thanks for watching. Amazing, right? All right, let's get started. Hey, Bolo Buddies, thanks for watching. All right, you guys, in this video, I am going to feature an eBay store and I am going to share her bolos with you guys. Um, she's got some great items, a lot of things that I would walk past. Um, we definitely source differently, some things similar, but you guys are definitely going to learn from this. So let's get started. All right, so I am featuring eBay store, Cat Feeling Thrifty, and she sells a little bit of everything, vintage to now, uh, just a really, really great store. I'm going to link it down below in the description. Definitely go and give her a follow. Um, how do you give someone a follow? Well, let me show you here. Right here, this little saved seller, if you click on that heart, that is going to let you know when she lists new items. And also, if she comes up with a coupon, she can send that out to her followers. So you can definitely be notified of things like that also. So give her a follow. She is also dabbling in um, YouTube. So she's getting her feet wet. She's learning. So do me a favor, you guys. She has 52 subscribers. Let's see how many people we can get to subscribe to Cat Feel and Thrifty. I will link her down below in the description. Again, she's just getting her feet wet. So show her some love with a sub. Go in and give her a nice comment on one of her videos and let's help support each other and help each other grow, okay? So thank you so much for sharing your bolos with everyone and I look forward to seeing more and more content on your channel. All right, let's start with the first item that she sold and it is this Britannica Great Books of the Western World Complete Set Volume 1 through 54. She got these uh, purchased at Family Friends Estate, paid $10. She only paid $10 for all of them. She sold them for $650 with free shipping. Now, these shipped media mail, so it probably wasn't horrible, but um, definitely a lot of work to ship all these books. Um, let me know in the comments, have you ever sold book sets like encyclopedias and different things like this? And if so, um, is it a pain to ship? Do you like it? Have you sold them for big money? We, do you have to meet like a, they have to sell for this much for me to put the work in? I feel like they'd have to be a big money bolo for me to put the work in. The next item is this vintage Hamilton watch. It's a U.S. military watch. It's a mechanical wine from 1979. So she did a great job doing her research on this. It does have, you know, some condition issues, but it is an old watch. So um, it's just some scratches and stuff. Let's see. Purchased at an estate sale on a box lot of watches have maybe a dollar cost in this. Sold on auction for $275 plus shipping. Wow, she got it for a buck. That's incredible. This right here is a, and I'm sorry, I don't know why um, it's making me scroll up for each photo. Usually my tabs are pulled up. I didn't check them before I came on, so I apologize about that. Charles Marion Russell. It's a bronze buffalo figurine. It's seven inches tall. Um, Pretty interesting item. I don't know if I would have picked it up or not. I may have because it's signed and it's a cool looking piece, but definitely not something that I sell on a regular basis. She sold this for $197.50 plus shipping. She got it at a local online estate sale auction and paid $10 for it. The next item she sold is this antique 10 karat gold brooch. Art. Uh oh, here's the word. Art Nouveau, yes, I did it. Art Nouveau diamond watch pin brooch, Viking goddess face. So she's got it next to a quarter. So that shows size. She also is using a caliper. This is what I use. I use a caliper, but definitely I've seen people use coins for scale. And that's a great idea because everybody knows how big a quarter is. Um, this is the back of it. Definitely an old piece. Um, and I either just did a video on vintage brooches or I have a video coming soon. So stay tuned or look for that. Oh my goodness. I go into some major detail of some big money brooches to look for. Um, 
let's see. Purchase the box lot of vintage mini dressed mannequins for $10. I'm not sure what a mini dressed mannequin is, but this brooch was stuck on one of them. She got the vintage dresses, uh, the man, uh, hold on, mini dressed mannequins for 10 bucks. And it had a brooch that sold for $187.50, a 10 karat gold brooch. Oh my goodness. That's incredible. It doesn't say sold on auction for $187.50. It doesn't say just says box lot. So maybe she got it at an auction. That is so cool. This next item is a vintage Juliana D&E Delizzi and Elster leaf flower pin brooch. Three layers of rhinestones. Look at that stunner right there. Wow, that is beautiful. Um, purchased on a whatnot show from Donatella Bottolino. And Donatella is now on whatnot, but she just goes under her first name for now. I don't know if she's going to change that or not. So YouTube, she's Donatella Bottolino. Whatnot, she's Donatella. And she's doing a lot of um, really beautiful jewelry right now. So she picked this up for $19 on whatnot and sold it for $55 plus shipping. She said she knew um, that she priced it a little high and would take a best offer. But um, it's slashed out at $55.50. So I don't know if that's what it sold for. The best offer thing is wonky on eBay. So it's kind of hard to know. And um, But it says she sold it for $55 plus shipping. Now, if you guys are not sourcing on whatnot, it is a great place to source and buy personal items. Also, you can get stuff really, really cheap, especially for people that are newer and just starting out that don't have a lot of followers. So definitely go support those people that don't have a lot of followers um, because you might snag a really good deal. But I will link my whatnot down below. It is a referral link. If you use that link to join whatnot, you are going to get $15 to shop. I love whatnot. I buy on whatnot. I have sold on whatnot. Um, I'm looking into another feature of whatnot and I'm going to have a video coming soon on that. So stay tuned. Super excited about it. And um, just check it out. So yeah, $15 of free money to shop with my referral link down below and make sure you follow me on whatnot. And Cat Feeling Thrifty is on Whatnot also. She has not had her first show yet, uh, but she's going to. So follow Cat Feeling Thrifty and Donatella also. All right. So this next one is an antique defiance drafting kit purchased at a rummage sale for five bucks. Sold on best offer for $68 plus shipping. Now, this is something that I know about and I definitely would pick up and have sold in the past. Um, they do range from bread and butter to big money. So definitely look them up. And don't overpay. A lot of times at sales, these things will be priced high. So definitely do your research and don't overpay. The next item she sold are these vintage Tupperware canisters. They're yellow. They're super cool. They're nesting. I may have picked these up. These remind me like of my grandma. Um, I feel like she had a set of these. Um, so I think I would have picked these up just because you can nest them and they would be easy to ship. If you want to learn more about Tupperware, definitely go over and check out Farm Girls, Farm Girl Scavenger Noel. She has a YouTube channel. She is a bolo finder, and she did a category video on Tupperware, and she talks about how to price it, and man, oh man, she sells a lot of Tupperware, so check her out, and I will try to remember to link her down below as well. So this Tupperware came from a family friend's estate, paid 10 bucks, and sold it for 75 plus shipping. The next item is this camera. It's a Keystone Riviera K40 Magazine 8mm movie camera. She got this at an estate sale, paid $45 for it. She said, not a great purchase decision, but got my money back plus a few bucks, sold it for $65 plus shipping. So um, I love her honesty here. You know, we all make bad buys, you know, and sometimes we overpay for things or sometimes things sit for a long time. So um, she still made some money. She at least made her money back. But if you could find this for five bucks, it would definitely be a good buy at five dollars or even ten. Depends what you want your margins to be. I just had her show, share this one because I love toys. Um, this is a Little Tykes Blue 1985 Tapatune Musical Piano Xylophone Vintage Child's Toy. She got this at a storage unit with over 300 boxes for $350. And this was in a box. She said, I have pennies in it and I sold it for $35 plus shipping. Vintage toys can definitely be a good item to pick up. 
These are vintage Sweden 60 tartlet mini tart tins shaped. Oh, I thought they were doorknobs at first. That is so funny. They're tart tins, you guys. Tart tins. Say that three times fast. Tart tins, tart tins, tart tins, tart tins. Okay. It is getting late and I'm getting tired and I am getting goofy. So hang with me here. All right. Tart tins. That's a pretty cool one right there. I probably would have walked past these. There are 60 of them and she got them at an estate sale for 10 bucks with a whole bunch of other baking items. So a few bucks in these and she sold it for 60 plus shipping. That is an awesome bolo right there. One that most of us would probably walk right past. Vintage cigar cutter, match holder, leather wrapped advertising, cools and stock. I think I pronounced that correctly. This is what it looks like. So lots of good photos that um, show the item. She got this at, she purchased a lot of 25 lighters for $45, sold many of them already. Took a best offer of 45 plus shipping on this one. The next item she sold is this vintage Juliana D&E brooch, clear green, blue crystal, Aurora Borealis. I think I said that right. Gold tone brooch. It is beautiful. Uh, let's see. Purchase mystery box of jewelry from Donatella. That was from her YouTube channel. She paid $75 for it. She said this one piece sold for a best offer. Um, of $45 plus shipping. She said she priced it on the high end and knew she would take a best offer. And she realized that she misspelled something in the title afterwards. So beautiful brooch, $45 plus shipping. The whole mystery box of jewelry was 75. So she made more than half of her money back with just one piece. This next item is awesome. It's a vintage compact lipstick tri trickets by Weissner, Wissner, Weissner, I think it's Weissner, Miami, 50s pearl, aqua, rhinestone, new old stock, beautiful, beautiful, beautiful. I absolutely love this. It's stunning. It's stunning. And it's new old stock, you guys. Wow. Uh, she got this at a local online auction for $27. Took a best offer of 140 plus shipping. I definitely would have picked that up. This next item is another set of encyclopedias. Ah, um, let's see. Purchased at a family friend estate for 10 bucks. Took a best offer of 100 plus shipping. So the buyer paid shipping on that one. This here is a Dietz Brass Kerosene Oil Lantern. It's a junior lamp, mint, never used, original globe. And this one was purchased at a family friend estate sale for 15 and sold it for 130 plus shipping. Let's see here, that's what the bottom looks like. So nothing really popping out to me as an, oh, there we go. I was like, how'd she know the brand? It's right there on the top. All right, the next one is really cool. It's an antique wet tabletop grindstone wheel blade sharpen grinder mill. And she got this at an estate sale for $27 and took a best offer of 107 plus shipping. This is a Walkman. If you guys don't know Walkman, uh, Sony, a lot of the Sonys do well, but Walkmans in general, definitely be on the lookout. Look them up if you see them. Sometimes they don't work. I have been known for buying the ones that don't work. You can still part them out and sell them as not working. Um, I know Terry Mindful Recycle sold one for big money that was broken. Um, it was just crazy. It's in one of the videos that I did. Um, or it's in one of her videos. I can't remember. I just know I remember seeing it. So check out Terry Mindful Recycle also. I'll link her down below. FX103 uh, cassette and radio player. Purchased at a yard sale for $5 and sold it for $54 plus shipping. Tested and works great. This cat right here is a black cat, kitten, green eyes, ceramic, uh, Ellie or Lee, E-L-E-Y mold. And a lot of times they will say information on the bottom and that can help you to, if you put those words in your title. Okay. Uh, got this at an online estate for 17 and sold it for 45 plus shipping. The next item here she sold is these vintage handmade folk art. Um, she called them rag bunnies because they're kind of like a rag doll. 
and purchased at the Goodwill for $6 and sold them for $38 plus shipping. Best offer there. And she said they did take a while to sell. So it was a long tail item, which makes sense. This one right here, vintage 1970 and 72 Zippo windproof chrome lighters boxes, proof of purchase, 1974. She got this in that lot of 20 for $24 at an online auction of all the lighters. She sold this for $53 on auction plus shipping. The next item here are these vintage Navajo sterling silver turquoise stamped clip earrings. They are beautiful. And let me see if I can get this picture to pop up. It doesn't want to show me the back here. Well, that's just different. It's showing me every photo, but the one I want to see. Let's see if we can do it that way. No, it is totally blanking out that picture. Well, it's right here. Uh, got these from a local online estate sale for 17 and sold them for 75 plus shipping. This next item are these Cutco four-piece utensil set, dark brown handles. She got these at an estate, online estate auction of utensils, $18. She took a best offer of $49.50 for these. And she has another set. And I'm going to show you those here shortly. Um, here's another two Cutco pieces that she sold. And I don't know what she ended up selling these for, but you guys, Cutco is a great brand. I'm guessing these were probably in that same box. Um, I think she said it was an online auction and she recognized the Cutco and knew she should grab it. This one's cool. This is a vintage antique needlepoint embroidery birds watching dog. This is probably one I would have walked past. She got this at... She got nine needle points from an online local estate sale for $9.35, sold almost all of them out of this lot. So this one auction sold for $86.52 plus shipping. Yeah, a lot of times people don't see value in these things and she knew that it was a bolo. Hubley bronzed bookends, Native American and Pony 1920. Uh, it looks like they're cast iron number 414. Let me see. This is what I do also with the tape measure. Definitely let people know the measurements. And she got this at a local online estate sale for 17. She said they were marked, but I knew what they were. Sold for 57 plus shipping. Best offer there. This is a vintage velvet horse painting uh, framed and signed. She got this at a yard sale for $7.50 and sold it for $42.50 plus shipping. Best offer. This coach purse is stunning. If you guys don't know, vintage coach is a great bolo. Um, this is the 9812 Ridgefield brother leather, brown leather crossbody. It's got the original tag right there, $228 back when it was new. That is fun, right? Nice purse there. Uh, let's see. She took a best offer of $72 and she got it at a family estate for five bucks. This one here is a vintage Native American sterling turquoise cuff watch band. And the cuff is signed and it is 21 jewels. Helbros, I think is how you say that. And it's got a little bit of wear to it. But overall, that is a stunning piece. Purchased from a family friend estate for 10 bucks and sold on Poshmark for $88 plus shipping. So I think if I remember correctly, she sold this on eBay and the buyer didn't pay. So she sold it on Poshmark for 88. So she is on Poshmark also. Here's the other set of Cutco. This one she sold for more. She said vintage Cutco five piece utensils plus wall mount purchased in a lot of other utensils for 21 and sold for $98 plus shipping. This one here is a Camel Turkish Silver 2005 Zippo lighter with the tin case. Purchased in a box of tools laying at the bottom. Surprise, surprise. She paid $27 for the whole box. And this one item sold for $102.50 plus shipping. Lucasi. I think I said it right. 
These are cowboy boots, and that is a great brand to be on the lookout for. They do range depending on size, material, the style, the look. Uh, she got these for at a yard sale for $25. She paid $25 for them and took a best offer of $72 plus shipping. The next item are these awesome elephant figurines. Family. It's a family of elephants. They're jade green. I would not want to ship those. She says they are heavy and solid and solid, two inches to four inches tall. Those are super, super cool. And you can see right here, she's got the, well, maybe you can't. There we go. The tape measure showing the tallest one. Yard sale, 10 bucks. Took a best offer of 50 plus shipping. Those are awesome. The next item she sold is this Craig 212 reel-to-reel -reel tape recorder, player and microphone, no 9V adapter, untested. She got this uh, $13 for $13 online local state auction, sold as not working for $70 plus shipping. The next item are these vintage Ystad metal candle holder sweden brass adjustable very rare candlesticks candlestick holders i'm sorry uh yard sale for nine dollars and sold the set for 62 dollars and 50 cents best offer and the last item she sold is this blender it is a sunbeam 1970s mix master avocado green blender with the beaters and the bowl and she got this at an estate sale, online estate sale, and paid $5 for it and sold it for a best offer of $50 plus shipping. All right, you guys. So your assignment is to go over to Cat Feel and Thrifty on eBay and heart right here. Click the heart and save her as a seller and go to her YouTube channel and sub her up. Again, she is at 52 subscribers right now. Um, she's putting out a lot of short videos right now. I'm hoping to see longer videos in the future. I'm excited for her to um, try YouTube and you guys go sub her up. Let's show her some love. Let's see how many subscribers we can get her. Thank you so much for being here. Thank you for watching. I appreciate everybody being here watching. Hit that thumbs up if you don't mind. Um, and if you're new here, subscribe if you haven't already, if you like the content. I have lots of Bolo content, lots of different styles. I take you to the thrift stores. I take you to the Goodwill bins. I uh, feature uh, Facebook group members where I show all kinds of big money Bolos. Oh my goodness. Those, uh, some of those are crazy what people sell things for. So definitely check out some of those, but lots of videos, over a thousand videos. And I thank you guys all so much. Appreciate y'all. Leave me a comment. Write the word hoot or an owl emoji down in the down in the comments. And check out the description for things, things that I use for my business, like list perfectly, uh, worth point. Um, I'm drawing a blank. I get my bubble wrap from American Bubble Boy. That link is down there. And they have coffee now. Ah! So I just got some of that. So it is on the way. I'm excited to see uh, how it's going to taste because, you know, one little fun fact that you might not know about me is I did not drink coffee and I became a coffee drinker. I think it's been within the last year. So every morning I get up and my husband goes to work before I get up and there's always like coffee and I'm like, oh, I can't wait to get my coffee. <laughs> oh, I'm like, how did I not drink coffee? What was wrong with me? Like when I got the buy me a coffee link, I felt like such a fraud because I didn't really drink coffee. And now it's legit. The buy me a coffee link. Basically, buy me a coffee is just a uh, tip jar, uh, pretty much. Uh, but I, like I said, I felt like a liar when I first got it because I didn't drink coffee when I first got it. So now I'm a coffee drinker. Thanks for watching. Dab it. Dabbling.